come on, people now. Smile with your brother, everyone. Get together, gotta love one another. Oh, hi there. I didn't notice you there. How are you today? Uh, I'm Billy12510. I decided to sing the intro to Nirvana's Territorial Pissings because I've been listening to Nevermind. Uh, we got Pokemons. We beat Lieutenant Surge. And our destination, as you can see on this map, is, uh, it's, uh, it's gonna be this place, Rock Tunnel. Those of you who've played this game before will know the hell I'm about to travel through. I won't, because I never played Red and Blue as a kid. Ha ha! Uh, well, I never got to Rock Tunnel as a kid. I, never, I barely played the first gen Pokemon games. Oh god, why do people like the gen 1 Pokemon games? Anyway. Uh, we would just go straight to Cerulean City, because that's the closest way to get to Rock Tunnel. But uh, this guy will say he... Uh, Professor Oak had a package for us, so we need to talk to one of the eight that are on Route 2. So let us get on our sweet bicycle that I picked up uh, between episodes. Actually, no. Let us pick up our sweet items that we missed along this route. Did I talk about Drowsy? I... I might... I might have, I don't even remember. But it's, um... A Pokemon... That was really good in the first gen games. The special was just one stat. Now it's not so great. Because it's special attack and now becomes special defense. It's okay. And then it evolves into a pedophile, I mean Hypno. And it's just like, super meh. There are better psychic types, like one I'm gonna get in this video. Not you, not to use, but just to get. Uh, cause if you didn't notice, I've got a... I got an arena trap. I've got a, uh, Abra on my team, I managed to catch one. Uh, in between parts 8 and Nine. That was between eight, part eight and nine. Man, it's still so long ago. Uh, I hope my singing wasn't uh, that bad. I'm gonna listen back to it in the recording, but... uh. Man, repels would be nice, wouldn't they? Yeah, they'd be great. I bet I don't use those. That's the thing, isn't it? I never use repels. I know how useful they are in these games, but I just never use them for some reason. Oh well. It's just, uh, we'll ever run, or we'll get arena trapped, in which case Kenny just, Kenny will just continue to grow and envelop everything. Envelop everything. Envelop. Wait, that's the same pronunciation. Anyway, this place doesn't look familiar. If you cut down that tree that's uh, right here, you'd end up back in uh, Pewter City. And if you go in here, Fated Pokemon just has no energy left to battle, but it can still use moves like Cut. This guy over here will trade you a Mr. Mime if you have an Abra. Same level, same everything. Much like Farfetch'd. And the only reason I'm doing this trade is solely to get more Pokédex entries, because I honestly don't have a lot. <laughs> Mr. Mime in itself is a pretty good Pokémon. If you can trade Evolve and get Alakazam, Mr. Mime's probably your best bet for a Psychic type in this game. It's got really shoddy HP. I think it's slightly better than Alakazam's. HP. But it's got great special attack, it's got great speed. It's pretty much what you want in a psychic type. Anyway, uh, and last, this guy. This is the guy that will give you the HM for Flash if you have at least 10 Pokemon. Caught slash owned for 10 
I was at 14, that's the number I have. You need at least 10 to get Flash. It lights up the darkest caves and dungeons. Oh god, Twitch plays Pokemon. That's a thing. Sweet lord. Why is that a thing? We have Flash going through uh, Rock Tunnel is going to be a lot more easier. Then it would be if you didn't have it. Which I got. You got. If you didn't have it in the first gen games, you better have known your way around about it. Or you'd be wandering that place for hours. Although, to be fair, Switch plays Pokemon's way of doing things. I'm sure they were there for 20 years anyway. I heard... I, I've not watched Twitch plays Pokemon. I've heard, though, that it is indeed something very special. That's one way to word it, I guess. Special. I'm used to hitting start and having it work like the A button. I don't know. I'm used to hitting L and having it actually like the A button. I'm so glad they brought that back in 6th gen. I don't get why that's an option. I just use it all the time, though. I think the the reason they give is so you can play it left-handed, but you still need to hit the B button to cancel things anyway. So that would imply that you would reach for your controller. Well, no, no, it would work because you got your index finger on the L button. You got your thumb on the B button to hit cancel, and you use that for the D-pad. And I love how I pulled out a Game Boy Advance SP to prove my point, and no one will be able to see that. Oh, sweet lord. Um, all these are in the trap. Dang it. Thank God Diglett has, like, no special defense. Kenny just continues to grow. I actually fought my friend Kenny uh, in Pokemon X and Y. Uh, today's the 20th, so that would have been yesterday. Uh, and I won. Which is kind of surprising to me because I'm not the best when it comes to... Well, I don't know if I'd say competitive battling. Uh, it's definitely, like, multiplayer Pokemon. I'm, I'm definitely not that great at it because I never played uh, Pokemon multiplayer for the longest time. Usually because I'm more into doing stupid things like using Flamethrower on uh, the fire type that has Flash Fire. Like, not thinking that was a possibility. Uh... Uh, I still- I love that, though. It was so incredibly stupid, but I still love it. Hey, Route 9! Oh, I'm not at the tree yet, I'm mashing A. <laughs> I'm mashing A. I'm hitting the air. That air. <laughs> I'm drawing that air who's boss. You have Pokemon with you, you're mine. Well... <laughs> uh, you better have something good. We got four Pokemon that are weaker than the gym leader of Vermilion City's Pokemon. Well, no! Lieutenant Surge's uh, Pikachu is level 18. I guess. I guess she has something after all. Man, this is gonna be long. I'm not. I could just send in Mimi and destroy everything. No, we leave this to Jading. Show him his true nature. He's a weed killer. He's now level 27. Jading's gonna get a pretty good move in this episode. Probably. I'll debate on it a bit, but I know he's gonna get something good. I mean, I know Jading is awful. It's one of the worst Pokemon in franchise history. 
and that doesn't stop me from using it. Because uh, in Gen 3, it's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good in this game because limited option. Just because it comes with the stick. I'd say just having that boosted crit rate gives it a gives it a certain edge all the other flying types don't have. And there's the awesome move I told you. Aerial Ace, TM40. It's basically Swift, but a flying type version of it. I believe it can also hit flying Pokemon, but I don't know if that was introduced in this gen or not. I guess I'll find out uh, when I look it up later. And Chiding's the only one I can learn it. Do I want to give it Aerial Ace or Secret Power, though? Secret Power is a pretty cool move. I don't think I... I might have gone over it. Man, it was, it was so long since I got Secret Power. Since I got a lot of these moves I have to use. Okay. I don't think there are any new Pokemon in this route. Awww! Who's that walking there with those good-looking Pokemon? Well, it certainly isn't me, because I'm biking. I'm clearly bicycling. Uh, fun fact about yours truly, never learned how to ride a bike! Oh, I try, don't get me wrong, but I never grasp riding a bike. I was about... I got I got scooters. I would like ride scooters, but not bikes. I understood bikes better, uh, not bikes. But I clearly didn't understand bikes better. I couldn't ride the damn things. But um, and knowing me and my shoddy memory, I probably even forget how to ride a bike anyway. But I guess it's kind of like driving a car. Like once you learn how to drive a car, no matter how long it's been since you drove a car, you know, uh, the long pedal is the gas. And the fat pedal is the brake. And the wheel helps you steer. I don't think there are any new Pokemon in this route. If there are, I'll throw it up now and I'll come back to it during the next part. I know there's a new Pokemon we can get in route coming up. And we're gonna have to fight you, aren't we? Alright. Ding! You shall destroy this man. Yo, my super bug Pokemon. So he's going to sick us with a pincer, I assume, right? Right? Nope. Level 20. Caterpie. I did hear Farfetch try. It's amazing. Science is also amazing. Weedle. That Butterfree, a bee drill. We have three badges. You can take off the training wheels at this point, game. I, I think we're used to it by now. Hey. Venonat. That's something we haven't seen. It is also something that doesn't evolve at level 20. It's admittedly not that great. Your dig just gets crits all day. I don't know. What's it with me and birds I use that get constant crits? Like in that battle that me and Kenny were having, my Talon Flame that I named Leanne just got crits for five centuries straight. It was amazing. Okay, I want to get this berry. Ooh, Chesto Berry. That's pretty nice. He'll sleep. Sleep's pretty annoying. Unless you know how to deal with it. And here's Route 10. It is. Home to one new Pokemon. Voltorb. Voltorb, when it evolves into Electro to level 30, I believe, which admittedly isn't that far from what it is, what the level is right now. When it evolves, it's one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. Straight up. And it has a decent enough special attack stat too. My problem with it is, though, its HP isn't that great, it's mostly known for using self-destruct and explosion, and its physical attack stat is pretty bad. Its best asset is its speed, 
and it, and it can't have static as well. And that's the ability you should go for, not soundproof. Anyway. Anyway. Uh... Voltar... I personally love Electrode, and as a little kid, I've got an embarrassing story. So I played Pokemon Stadium 2 as a kid, and for whatever reason, I was like, like, maybe nine, nine years old or something like that. Nine-year-old Billy used to think for the longest time that Pikachu a mouse evolved into Electrode. A ball that is the opposite colors of a Pokeball. <sighs> I was such an adorable child. <laughs> it's like mouse becomes ball. Total, it totally makes sense. I mean, they're both electric types, right? Anyway, uh, this guy, ever present aid, Professor Oak. If you have 20 species of Pokemon data, you get an Everstone. Uh, it's a hold item that always prevents evolution. Or, you could press B when a Pokemon is ready to evolve, and, it, and that cancels the evolution. The Everstone has some practicality, if you really don't want to be bowed covered by wasting one second to just hit the B button and cancel the animation. That's your call. Uh, other than that, it's like super... I mean, I doubt... I mean, yeah, evolution animation doesn't even play as long as the Everstone's equipped. So... Man, Flash, you're a lot better in this game than you are in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. You're even better in the 4th gen games than I would when you just became a TM. Oh hey, Rappel! Huh. I wonder if I'll be needing that. So, here's Rock Tunnel, or Hell as anyone who played this game in the first generation of Pokemon will call it. There are a few new Pokemon on this route. Zubat is not one of them. The one that is new is... One of them that's new is Onyx. It's surprisingly fast for a rock type. I guess we could talk about while we get into this fight. But it has the same problems that... Pretty much all of the rock types in this game have. It has poor... Uh, special defense. Oh, q -bone. It's got quad weaknesses to water and grass, which are both fairly common types throughout the game. And its HP stat leaves a bit to be desired, I think. If you can... Yeah. Onyx is better in later game, because... You can't evolve it into Steelix during the main story of this game. The only way you can have a Steelix is if you traded it into this game, which you can do. It's not that hard. Um. What I'm trying to say is I don't like Onyx that much. If you want a rock type, uh, it's worth waiting a bit more, I'd say. Oh, I missed. Well, that's... That's crap. I was, I was about to say, how did I miss? And then I remembered. Oh yeah, Fury Attack naturally he has a chance to miss. Wow, I did not notice that crit. Oh, come on. 
I should have switched to Kenny. He's got a move called Bite that's like super effective on Slowpoke and isn't. Oh, that helps. That doesn't. The Orb of Confusion. I don't remember why. No, I do remember why. But I went into work early one day. Gas. I did that. And there was this family here because it was just like around. It's that it was that state of limbo between breakfast and lunch, and I ordered lunch because I can do that because I'm cool. And there was this family who family came in like wanted to watch TV, so for their kids. It's so when he put on SpongeBob, and I remembered why I like SpongeBob, and I was just laughing and having a great time just watching SpongeBob. And I stopped watching cartoons like a year ago. Like. Oh yeah, I remember the show being funny. This is a pretty good show. I like this. And I don't know why. It made me realize that I really shouldn't have stopped watching cartoons. And hey look, it's Mankey. It's a cool Pokemon. It's a fighting type that no one ever uses. Be more people should because it's actually pretty legit. And the reason I'm not using it is because reasons. I don't know what those reasons are, but they are reasons nonetheless. Speaking of Pokemon, there's one more Pokemon you can get that is on this route. Keep calling it a route into dungeon. Uh, that Pokemon is Machop. I probably went down the ladder. Machop's another fighting type. It's pretty slow, but it's got amazing physical attack strength. It's one of the best physical attackers in the game. It got a lot better in the 4th gen games when it got an ability called No Guard, which does as its name implies. It prevents, uh, Pokemon's moves from missing, unless your opponent uses a move like Protect or something. That gets really devastating with Dynamic Punch, because Dynamic Punch is really powerful and always causes confusion, but is incredibly inaccurate. But thanks to No Guard, that move, that move becomes so good, you don't even understand. Uh, if you have Rock Smash, which you shouldn't naturally by this point in the game, the only way you should is by trading, you can break these rocks and sometimes you'll find a Gravelor, I think, which is Geodude's evolved form. And I have a Graveler story, if you'll indulge this old man a bit more. I'm having all the stories today, I don't know why. I usually don't. Uh, but uh, I was training up as Whaleus, which is in, in, in Pokemon Y. And it was like in Victory Road, and I ran into a Graveler. And it was a shiny Graveler. And it was like, oh, I must expend everything possible to catch this Graveler. I had a Master Ball that I didn't use because, like, why would I waste it on that? Um, used Explosion and killed itself in Zwalius. I was heartbroken. My soul had been crushed. I'm not a man that's experienced heartbreak before that moment in time. And it has left a scar on me that will never heal. Now I imagine actually having a girlfriend and then actually imagining heartbreak. Oh well, that'll probably never happen. Ugh. Admittedly, it will never happen. D d and don't even try cheering me up. I've resigned myself to this fact. It was probably not going to happen. Uh, but you can cheer me up if you want. Protect. Protect's a cool move, I guess. It negates all damage from moves. Uh, except for status effects like poison and burn. You'll take damage from those, but it'll null all enemy attacks for one turn. Uh, the success rate goes down the more it is used consecutively. Uh, it's not that great. This 
it's more of a um, competitive move than it is an in-game move. And even then, it's not that great compared to all the uh, protect moves that were added in Gen 6. Dear God. Like toxic shield, spiky shield, uh, king shield. Like if you, all of them that have interesting effects besides just negating damage from moves, it's, it was pretty cool. Though so then again, if you have faint or phantom force, uh, that's pretty much a non-issue at that point. Uh, God, I'm getting a headache all of a sudden. Might be from talking a bit much. They don't often come here, but I will battle you. You don't often come here. Which is why you're programmed to stand here for all of time. Yeah, that makes total sense. Ow. God, I don't win. Uh... Easy to drink. I hit my lip on like the rim of whatever you would call this thing. Whatever you would call this object, you can't see it. I'm pointing at it. Uh, just trust me, it exists. I'm not crazy. I swear, I'm not. You believe me, right? Random viewer who's not viewing this video because my fire red videos don't get any views. It's kind of sad because I like them a bit. Uh, a bit more than uh, the FE9 ones. I don't know. Although, the, although to be fair, uh, the next FE9 video I need to upload, which is I believe part 59, is probably one of my favorites. Just because of what happens in it. Uh, no spoilers for me. But you will see it and it will be immensely glorious. Yeah, that reminds me. I still have that video too. That nondescript video of an LP that is yet to be released. I still need to think of when I'm going to reveal that uh, LP to you, because the end of February is coming up, and I have been thinking either at near the end of February or the beginning or during the beginning of March. And I think we need to fight one of these guys, so we'll just fight you because we're going up anyway. Fire away! Okay, Pat Benatar. Oh, your name's Eric. I have a cousin named Eric. Hey, look, it's a mock top. I don't know. I haven't listened to a lot of Pat Benatar. It's not... She's not really in, like, rough... Well, I was gonna say she's not rock and roll, but that's actually not true. <laughs> uh. Oh, hey, look, Onyx, the experience with Kenny. I noticed my team is well equipped to handle hikers, thank God. It's not, it's not well enough to take on Lieutenant Surge. Fire the away. He even said it too, that's great! I'll raise my Pokemon to beat yours, kid. No, you won't, because we'll never see you again. Oh, hey, look. Ladder. Is there anything left? No, there is not. There is one guy I want to talk to. I believe he is not down this way. This may run on to like over 30 minutes, but we're just gonna go through Rock Tunnel. I had half a mind to just end the video like a few minutes ago. But I was like, nope, we're getting through this place. Uh, I just gotta take off my headset. Because uh, it's kind of bugging my ears for some reason. I don't know. Guess it could, I guess it's been on for a while now. I kind of wish they would develop like a headset that's like comfortable to wear. 
Well, then again, I guess mine technically is. And I just wear it for way too long. I don't know. I mean, it definitely works. It suits my needs perfectly. I have the old one that is basically the same model one that I'm using now. Also, everything is dead because Kenny is too good. I mean, he's level 32. He's up. What am I doing? Which way's out? That sleeping Pokemon on Route 2, on Route 12, forced me to take this detour. Hey, that sleeping Pokemon that we that we did have, we do have registered in our Pokédex is amazing. Don't you dare knock it. The Pokemon is the greatest thing to ever come out of this game. I swear to God. I guess it's not. Oh, hey, look, Onyx. Level 13. Uh, that guy's gonna notice me from there, isn't he? Oh, come on! Oh, hey, look, Kamacha! I'll catch you, you're cool. Use bite. You resist that. Won't kill you. Go kick. Low kick is a move that does damage based on how heavy your opponent is. In comparison to you. So basically, you use low kick on Snorlax and it one shots it. Not because it's a fighting type move on the normal type, but because Snorlax weighs about half a ton. And. Let's be honest. Few Pokemon weigh as much as Snorlax. I think the first Pokemon to outrace outweigh Snorlax. It might have been Whale Lord. Let's see. Until third gen, Snorlax was the heaviest Pokemon, and I think Whale Lord and Groudon became heavier than it. Then after that I'm not too sure. I think there's there is a move tutor, I believe, to the left of that picnicker girl, who will teach you Rock Slide, which is a really good move. It's it's the best Rock type move you're gonna get in the game. I unfortunately don't have any Pokemon that can learn Rock Slide, and I'm not sure if I'm going to have any Pokemon that will learn Rock Slide. So, it's pretty useless to me, although I do... I do have an interest in that item. You know what? It may only be for 100 steps, and I'm gonna spend most of those steps backtracking. But let's use that damn repel we got. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, bike time. Yep, I'm gonna spend most of this backtracking. Do you know how you can avoid getting lost in the mountains? You can bend trigs as trail markers. What a, whatever a trig is, I believe I meant to say twig, but added an R. Jigglypuff! Oh dear god. Your sprite in yellow is just Satan. Pure Satan outright. I will post that in the I have to post this in the video. Otherwise no one will understand what I mean. It's lovable. I mean it's lovable, it's cute. And then those red menacing eyes that just have the look of the devil in them. Like, holy god. Ay. <sighs> Sorry about that. Yay, Kenai. It works. Kenai's a pretty useful ability to have, not gonna lie. Although then again, you just give it, uh... 
and I'll just give to ding. Whoops. I give to ding. I <laughs> give to ding aerial lays, and then that will become a non-issue. I love how I couldn't think of whatever work. I couldn't think of the move. I did my best. Your best was not good enough, kid. Sorry. Max Efer, pretty good item. And that repel will end up... Bring up... Oh, here's the move, Tutor. When you're up on a rocky mountain like this, rocks that's... Rocks... Blah, 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 blah. Boulder something down on you? That'd be like... Wah! You don't seem to be scared. Want to try using Rock Slide? I mean, I don't think I have anyone that can learn it. Nope. Well, my job can learn it. You are scared after all. Screw you, kid. Well, how is this kid teaching us Rock Slide? I... I didn't... It would make sense if it was a hiker, but it's not a hiker, it's a kid! Anyway... Semantics. I believe that hiker's the last fight we need to have... Yep. Can you beat my power? Can you beat my special power? Because if you can't do that, the battle's already been won. Just as I suspected. This battle belongs to me. I've already won this fight, I just need to win it now. And that's kinda interesting that's a kinda interesting concept. Winning the fight before it actually starts. Like, this fight belongs to you, you've won it. You have won this fight because I'm trying to make sense of this all. You've won the fight before it starts. Now you need to actually go and win the fight just to prove to everyone that you won. There. That made some kind of sense, I'm sure. It probably didn't. Because I just don't make sense. I'm resigned to this fact. Out muscled. Out specialed. Uh. Aw, come on. Onyx must die. That's what it would say if it couldn't run away. Uh, we're gonna have to fight. We could get that item. I wonder what that item is. Probably nothing useful. Also, did the music change between that transition? I don't get why it would. I'll check. Ooh, Pearl! Uh, kind of useless item. It sells for money, but not a lot of money. I think it's like 500 bucks or so. Which, to me, if it were real money, well... Damn, that is a lot of money, but it's not... Unfortunate. We have to fight you, don't we? Game this far looking for wild Pokemon. What's a picnicker lass looking looking for Pokemon in here for? I almost tried to run. Uh, you can't run from trainer battles, by the way. It's like you're you're stuck, son. Uh. Oddish. Let's uh, send in Chiding. Needs more Chiding action. Luckily for me, the next Pokemon I'm gonna add to my team is an event Pokemon. That won't be too far off from the levels of my team currently. Which is good. If I was. I was gonna attempt to add new Pokemon into my team from Wild Pokemon. I'd have a hard time doing that. I had it a hard enough time catching a Spearow thanks to Kenny's overleveledness. Oh come on, you're not gonna kill your dang, dang 2 OP. You should probably give it an Aerial Ace. In the chat, tell me whether or not I should give Chidang Aerial Ace or wait 
for another Pokemon to give it Aerial Ace. What am I doing in the sun? Well, the exit is right south from where I am. I'm just running into Pokemon. Oh well. Uh, down we go. Missed. Now before one more Geo, dude. Freedom never felt so good. But now that that's the case, I've been building 12510. And, um. Yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.